Hello everybody, Cordon here, and I am here showing you a pet guide to unlocking all the pets in Across the Obelisk. I know I made one a couple days ago, but there is a big glaring mistake with a Sharpie unlock, and thank you Bassline for correcting me on that in the comment section. You are a real hero, so very much thank you on that. Alright, let's get started with what we got. There's a lot of pets in Across the Obelisk, and six of them are locked behind RNG events that aren't going to spawn on every seed. But luckily enough, I have two seeds here for you, which will contain both or all the events for all six pets. So let's go ahead and take a look at those seeds and what they get you. First seed is going to be a buy across the obelisk in all caps. That's going to have the, the events for Asmodee, Dolly, and Oculi. And the second event is going to be Betty, Mozzie, and Orby. And one more thing to keep in mind, I'm going to mention uh, specific heroes on some events as they will be able to bypass skill checks. So you might want to unlock those heroes before going for these pet unlocks. All right, let's take a look. Asmodee is going to be the first one up and he's going to be one of the harder ones to get. But the first thing you're going to want to do is see this fun game event at the top of the screen in act one. You're going to want to go to that, take play the fun event and you're going to go through a waterfall and that's going to give you an event where you want to combat the room and clear it out. It's going to say you acquired a ruined book, but not actually put it in your inventory. So it's going to be in your inventory, but just not actually there. It's one of the rare events that don't have that. So when you get to the end of the act, you're going to want to hop into Act 2 Red Zone. And once you're there, you're going to want to see this empty camp over here and go to it when you get the first chance. Or just take that pass. Don't go any other pass, of course. Once you do that, you're going to go to this hidden option at the bottom that says search the tents for a copy of the book that talks about the colors of hell. Click that. Move on to act all the way to act four. You don't need to do anything else. Once you're in that act, you're going to want to head for the top pass, the ancient library up top. Go to the bottom option again right here. Explore and get a copy of the book that you have. And that's going to tell you a couple things, but mostly go to the next uh, floor of act four which you're going to have to beat a boss to get there. And then you're going to want to take the bottom path to the magic circle. It's going to have a new option to summon a demon. You do that, Asmodee gets summoned, he joins your team. Congratulations, you have Asmodee. All right, next one's going to be Betty. It's a lost sheep event. It's going to be another one of those seated events that are in the description. And you're going to want to go here in front of the sheep. It's going to give you a battle against a couple sheep. You're going to free Betty from the evil sheep. And then you're going to get a new path up to Betty's home. You're going to want to take her there and take her to the farmer there. You're going to get a couple options. You'll want to either offer 500 gold to keep Betty, or you can also murder the farmer if you're a terrible person. And then once you do that, you've gotten Betty, so great job. All right, next one on the list is going to be the three amigos, Champy, Chompy, and Chimpy. So... For that one, you're going to want to specifically go to the red zone in Act 2, and we'll hit the blue zone in Act 3. So when you go to the red zone in Act 2, you're going to, you're going to want to go to these goblin caves here. It's going to be a mini boss you want to fight. Once you fight the mini boss, you're going to get a log in your inventory. That log is going to be taken to Act 3 blue zone. You're going to want to leave town with 1,000 gold here. I made a little note of it. That's mostly for me, but definitely use it for yourself. You're going to want to use that 1,000 gold to your head of the tyrant in the bottom right by this boat over here. It's going to be a mini boss, and once you beat the mini boss, you're going to get the option to choose between Champy, Chompy, and Chimpy, I think, or Chumpy. Chimpy, Chompy, Chompy. I don't know why I'm saying Chimpy. Anyways, you do that. You can unlock them all at once if you use a. I'm not sure if it works, but you can Alt F4 after you see the unlocked pet thing in the item screen, and then come back to the game and choose a different option. But you can also just run the game a couple times and be able to get that all three of them unlocked as well. So congratulations, you've unlocked them. Next one's going to be Dolly. He's a squirrel. You're going to need 500 gold with you when you leave of town. And you'll want to build a couple decks with high cards only. Because it's going to take a roll above five to be able to catch Dolly. And then once you do that, you will have gotten Dolly. Nice. Alright. Next pet is going to be Flammy. He's uh, one where you really want to bring Cornelius to the events. You're going to want to head to this hatch up here in Act 1. Cornelius will get you automatically into the chamber, but you can also use the 
everybody enters individually, but there's chance of injury to automatically get into the hatch as well. Once you do that, you're going to want to hit to the boss. You're either going to want to persuade with a five or higher and get the quest from Bellafort, or if you use Cornelius' specific option, you'll be able to get the quest without having to roll for it. What he's going to want you to do is summon a bunch of imps at some cultists in the red zone of Act 2. So you're going to head over there to Act 2, go to the stone table event that's at the bottom, and then release the imps. One of the imps will be Flammy. He's going to follow you around after that. You'll have unlocked him. Great job. All right, the next one is going to be the Lantry, the Spider. This one, you're going to want to bring Thules and either Grookly slash and or Heiner. Thules lets you skip the first event to get to the ledge you need to get to, and Grookly slash Heiner will let you skip the second event. First event requires a roll of six or higher, and the second event here will require a five or lower, so it's better just to bring in the heroes that automatically succeed. And once you do that, it's going to take you into a hidden room. There's a couple options in that hidden room, but one of them will be to examine a mysterious cocoon. You're going to want to get that mysterious cocoon, and the little spider rabies is going to pop out and join your party. So, great job. You got that one, too. All right, next one's going to be Mozzie. Mozzie, you're going to want to bring tools to the party. And then you're also going to be want to bring 1,000 gold. When you leave town, do not forget this 1,000 gold, or else you're not going to be able to buy the boat to get to Mozzie. You'll have to do a big gambling thing, and it's not very fun if you lose that one. So once you get to the Marsh Deeps event here at the top, by buying the boat at the event, you're going to want to have Thules automatically get the egg, or otherwise you're going to have to roll a 5 or higher to get the egg yourself. And then there's a second part of this one, where you have to go into the red zone of Act 3. So definitely, I should have mentioned it earlier, but take uh, the green zone, swamp biome for Act 2. Red Zone Act 3. And then you're going to want to go to this Lava Cascade event here. You're going to dip the egg in it, and the egg's going to hatch, and you're going to get Mozzie. Now, for Oculi, he's a pretty simple one. You just need to use a seed. You'll see this Aqueduct event. You're going to have to pay 600 gold or do a quest where you help the lizard or the help the Krakowman out by visiting their village uh, down one and to the right one. And you examine their note there. And then if you do that, go to the metal battlefield, you'll get the option to help the Krakowman leader, Erwin. You do that, and then you'll be able to get a free boat from the bottom right node to ride that. But it's also easier just to pay the 800 gold to ride across and hit this aqueduct event, and you'll get auto Oculi for free. Also, you'll, if you have any pets on you, you'll be able to train them up and get Oculi as well. Even if you train your pet, you'll be able to unlock Oculi. Next pet is going to be Orby. He's a bit of a long one. You're going to want to use a seed for this one. There's a crane over here. And at the crane, there's going to be an obsidian shipment. You're going to want to fight ambush the guys there and take their obsidian. Once you do that, it's going to be a long trek to Act 4. And once you get to Act 4, there's going to be a forge at the top pass. You're going to want to take that pass, give them the obsidian, and they'll craft Orby for you and you'll have Orby unlocked. Another great job with that one. Next one is going to be Sharpie. Sharpie is one you'll want to go to Red Zone Act 2 first and head up to the Harpy's Nest. You're gonna have to fight a boss to start this up. Once you do, you combat the boss, you'll get a Harpy Egg. What you're gonna want to do is take the Harpy Egg to the Green Zone and then take it to these Altar of Songs. You're gonna want to have 800 gold again to be able to buy the boat there. Or help out the lizard men with the or the croco men with the croco men quest, as detailed in the previous uh, Oculi acquisition incorporated quest thing. Yes, yep. And then you'll be have Sharpie on your team. And I think we have the last one here, which is Slimy. And Slimy, you're gonna want to bring Thules or Actually, you don't really need tools, but he gets it. He gets slimy for you at a lot cheaper of a rate. You want to buy the slime bait from this lizardman tribe on the way left of the map for X2 bomb zone. Doesn't matter if you do this Act 2 or Act 3, but you're just gonna want to go to the lizardman tribe, and then you're gonna hit the spider caves. Once you're in the spider caves, there's gonna be a node at the bottom that shows the homemade slime bait you just bought, and you just take the homemade slime bait there, and slimy will join your party. 
Uh, I guess I do have to get... I guess I forgot Stormy. Alright, let's talk about Stormy. Stormy's another tricky one. You're going to want to head to Act 2. Swamp Zone. See this eastern village here, which is the Krakowin event. Or the Krakowin village. There's going to be a node there that where you examine the writing on the wall that they have there don't do anything don't burn anything down just examine the writing on the wall it says they're going to war and you want to examine the writing on the wall there and that will give you notes for the nagamural and the nagamural is up there and to the right it's right under maluka's node you're going to want to pay the 600 gold to take those notes over to the Nagamural, which are, does show up now. And that will let you get Stormy when you read the notes. And that will be all. Thank you for listening. Thank you again, Bassline, for correcting me. And I hope this guide helps you out. If you need any help with any future, future content, please let me know and I'd be happy to make a guide for it. Thanks for watching. You're all awesome. Bye.